Hey, y'all check this out. Failed exit. Traders complain. Crypto.com reverse profitable Luna transactions. In my opinion, Crypto.com just pulled a Robin Hood. So let's see what's going on here. Dev spiral resulted in mispricing of Luna tokens over the popular cryptocurrency exchange. Traders are not happy with the compensation as they shouldn't be. This is insane. Now, I feel like I should do like sheesh like my daughter does when she comes home from school. Uh, this is like something ridiculous. And, you know, I'm a holder of crow for the record. So I'm not like anti crow you know anti-crypto.com like i'm actually a holder of the token and i just been like what that they just pulled a robin hood which is why i don't mess with robin hood now i never used crypto.com but i believed in what they were trying to do to bring you know regular people who aren't tech savvy into crypto you know the you know uh, the crypto.com arena in los angeles i was just all for what they were doing but this is pretty insane so let's dive into this crypto exchange crypto.com has halted the trading of terra luna tokens after it determined that user transactions were quoted an incorrect price prompting severe backlash from the community rightfully so in, fr in a friday news release crypto.com said that luna trades have been halted due to a pricing error between 1240 1339 utc users who traded luna were quoted an incorrect price the exchange said our systems quickly detected it and trading was halted. Trading remains halted until further notice. So you're telling me, let's say I'm holding, I'm holding the token and you misquote the price. I, I come up, I, you know, I get in profit 10 grand and you just say, Oh, nope, nope. This was wrong. Let me take that 10 grand back. That's pretty much crypto.com just did. Uh, here goes watcher guru on Twitter saying crypto.com is reversing profitable Luna transactions or profitable Luna trades from May 12th, claiming users were quoted an incorrect price. Another another uh, comment here on Twitter is saying, you need to take responsibility for providing wrong prices to your customers. Personally, I would leave any exchange that would do this, rightfully so. And you're talking to someone that has uh, Crow tokens. I, I really believe in what they were doing with, you know, uh, bringing average people into the crypto space who aren't tech savvy and giving them an easy way to get into crypto. I was all for it. I am all for that. No matter what, no matter what uh, project it is, but they basically just pulled a Rob Hood. And like I've said before, I would never touch Robin Hood with a 10 foot pole just because of what happened, you know, with GameStop and just, you know, I just would never touch it ever. And they pretty much did that. So if you're up a hundred thousand dollars on Terra because you took a, you know, you shorted it, or even you bought it, whatever, you shorted it, probably profitable. Uh, either way, I don't know if it was on leverage or not. But let's say you bought some Terra and you want to exit, you're just gonna reverse that trade. That is crazy. Rever reversing profitable Luna trades is almost against everything crypto stands for when we talk about uh decentralization and we talk about you know giving the power of the uh you know of you know everything power of choice and and our money and our assets giving the power back to the people something like this kind of does not does not align with anything that crypto stands for this is crazy so sheesh that's all i can say about that it's just you know, and I feel bad. You know, people were probably up significant amounts. I can only imagine, right? You know, you take a buy, you know, pump, maybe a slight pump or recovery uh, before before dropping again. You know, you have a chance to really capitalize on the pullbacks, right? Um, and just, I just can't see it. And uh, we're looking at the price. Let's try to see where it's at now. Uh, I don't have it up here, but we'll see what's, where it's at now. Terra, Luna, I can't only imagine where it's at now. It's under almost at actually zero and i said i'm i'm probably taking a trade on terror i'm like what what do you have to lose <laughs> like for me i'm like for me it's, it's it seems like a good trade and um but there's probably not much that could have happened unless you shorted it and i'm not sure if you can short on crypto.com i've never used it personally but just seeing, you know, there was some pullbacks here. If you look at the seven day, uh, even from the 10th, it's pulling back, pulling back the 11th. There was a slight pullback here 
11th, but if they stop trading on the 12th, I mean, it's not really, it's pretty much falling off a cliff. There could have been some price action that you could have took, taken advantage of, <clears throat> but it's just the fact that that even happened is insane. And so I will continue to not use crypto.com <laughs> and will not touch it with a 10 foot pole. The fact that you make a mistake and then your customers have to pay the price, the, your customers that are trying to profit you know, in cryptocurrency, the ones who are trying to, you know, ultimately achieve financial freedom through crypto. It's insane that you would make a mistake and then your customers have to, you know, bear the brunt of it. And you pretty much halt their funds or halt their trading activity on your platform because you made a mistake. Now that is just wrong on so many levels. They pulled a Robin Hood and that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty bad. I don't know, I don't know how they're going to recover from that. Um, they're saying multiple exchanges have moved to delist Luna. I know Binance actually just relisted Luna after delisting it. Um, after and that was today. Uh, the trading pair fell below 0 0.005, which we know, and that exchange suspended all spot trading for Luna UST. Binance delisting began one day after uh, other exchanges removed Luna margins swaps. So down over 99%. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a bet. But uh, one thing that I'm really looking at is you know we're gonna have some interviews on the channel talking to CEOs and people on teams about you know what do we do in markets like this and what are they doing. I think you'll, you'll see that you will see projects who haunt everything and just stop. Stop talking about everything. You'll see projects that continue business as normal, right? You'll see projects who, uh, you know, become very, you know, uh, conservative and delaying stuff. Oh, we were going to launch on this date. Now we're pushing it back. And you'll, you'll start, you know, times like this will kind of we weed out the, the real projects from the ones that are just, you know, all hype and all about price speculations and the ones that are actually building a business. That's what these projects are. I think we forget that because we, you know, we talk about tokenomics and, and becoming financially free. We're actually investing in software, investing in businesses that are operating, have teams and have payroll that should be continuing as normal. And so we're gonna be talking to projects like that coming up very soon uh, this month. And, and just talking about the markets, talk about, you know, the project in and of itself and ultimately what problems they are solving in the marketplace. And those are the projects that you really want to pay attention to because they're the ones that aren't going anywhere. They're the ones that are still putting their heads down, no matter what market conditions are still putting their heads down, still grinding. And, you know, I hope you guys get some value out of those out of those interviews and really just keep moving forward like clockwise that's why we're called clockwise we're gonna keep moving forward no matter what um and you know that's what we're gonna keep adding value with talking to a uh, lot of teams a lot of projects on not only their project but their their vision and their goals and those are the ones you like i said you want to pay attention to those because they're not going anywhere and no matter the market conditions they're there grinding and those are the ones you're going to hear from here at clockwise crypto keep moving forward in everything that you do and we'll see you soon.